If most of us discovered one of our friends was in the throes of acute schizophrenia, we might be put off or turn away. But not Dan Wu. He not only offered housing to this friend when she could not afford her own, but he also became intensely interested in her condition. So he signed up for a caregiving course with NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and started attending a Menlo Park support group for caregivers of those coping with serious mental illness. This led to yet another unusual choice. He switched careers from software engineer to psychiatric nursing. He now practices at El Camino Hospital, where he received an award as the most compassionate nurse. Maybe the most delightful twist in Dan's story is that he ended up marrying that friend he took in. Eileen Chang graduated from Stanford, and then at age 23, she was hit with severe schizophrenia, replete with hallucinations, paranoia, and excruciating pain that would last for hours. She was hospitalized countless times. For some people who may not know much about mental illness in general and schizophrenia specifically, I'd like to start with Eileen. Can you tell me, based on your own symptoms, what you went through that would give people a better idea of what it's all about? Sure. Um, I had symptoms of hallucinations, grandiose thoughts, delusions. Um, an example would be, I thought people were following me, or I thought that my food was poisoned. Um, those are some of the examples of what I went through. And what was the worst part? The worst part was uh, not exactly schizophrenia, but I had panic disorder. And so having panic attacks for a period of seven months, that was the worst part. Wow. And Dan, you had um, taken Eileen into your house mm -hmm. for housing reasons mm -hmm. uh, before you saw any symptoms or signs. Mm -hmm. And this emerged after she was living with you. Tell me what you saw and how you responded to that. Well, it's like what uh, Eileen was mentioning, too. Uh, she thought people were following her. So she was isolating, and then at one point, um, uh, she would disappear uh, um, uh, throughout the night. And more than one time, I was ready to call the police for a missing uh, person. Uh, the hardest part is uh, ready to call her parents and tell them I lost her there, her daughter, actually. So you chose to take a class from NAMI. Yes. Tell me what you learned from that class and why it was important. Um, it's important because if I didn't take that class, I probably would kick Eileen out of the house. <laughs> mm. uh, but they taught me a lot of practical skills. Uh, uh, that uh, schizophrenia is a, uh, a brain disorder that affects the brain chemistry, uh, basically. And as a result, it affects the brain chemistry, affects the function of the brain. Um, for example, mood, thinking, which affects her behavior, which also affects uh, her relationship with everybody. Uh, so they taught me skills, how to communicate, um, medication, the side effects. And medication sounds like was your savior. <laughs> but what about the role of therapy, which as a nurse is obviously your role. Um, how do those two work together? Basically, you need both uh, medication and, and ther therapy combined, especially with uh, schizophrenia. With schizophrenia, because it affects the uh, thought um, uh, process, um, therapy is not going to work because you can't communicate. So with medication, it stabilizes the person enough so therapy has, has a fighting chance because they assume that you can somehow communicate. Now, as a former software engineer, burned out, turned nurse, <laughs> you're a little bit unusual in that you're comfortable with a range mm -hmm. of uh, forms of assistance for, for patients, mm -hmm. including chaplaincy mm -hmm. and, and religion mm -hmm. or spirituality. Mm -hmm. Why? Why does that matter to you? One of the primary roles is to help patients find meaning in their illness. And spirituality, lots of time, has to deal with meaning. So you don't have to be, so a person who's an atheist can still have spirituality. Because meaning is so global. So Eileen, for you, what meaning uh, could this horrendous illness have for you or have had for you? I'd like to, I, I want to inspire other people who have also going through mental illness just that they can have hope. What about you, Dan? Uh, for me, it taught me to um, basically see past the, the label of a person and see, try to see the heart.